All right, today I want to show an armbar from the guard. Now there's another video on this channel, one of my most viewed ones, where I showed you know, a technical controlled armbar from the guard where you get really good control on the opponent and get good angles. This isn't that. Armbars from the guard are very difficult because you're going against gravity, right? I have an excellent armbar from top. My one from bottom is average at best. But there's a couple setups I use. The other one on this channel, very technical, very secure. This one's more, I'm not gonna say athletic, but this is more you just kind of explode into it and go for it rather than being really methodical and, and clamping them down and controlling them and setting it up that way. So I'll kind of break it down for you guys. So we're gonna go obviously from closed guard and this works the same gi or no gi, even better in a gi because you have the sleeves. Now what I wanna do is I wanna grab both wrists because if I start isolating this, Kenny knows I want an armbar, he's gonna yank his arm back. I anyone does this. If I yank it across, he's gonna bring it right back. So here he doesn't really know what I'm gonna do. Now in my head, I need to know what side I want to go to, what side's more dominant, and do that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold both wrists, and I'm going to open my guard and throw my legs over the shoulders like this. Now, if you look, my left leg is over his shoulder, and if you look here, it's on bottom, right? You want it locked on bottom. So if I pinch my knees like this, Kenny, how's the control feel? Uh, Pretty good, right? Yeah. Now, if I switch my feet like this, Kenny, go. The control... He can kind of posture up. It doesn't feel the same. So you always want to make sure when you throw the leg over, lock it on bottom. Clamp that other foot down on top of it. Not this way. Yes, they're locked, but this one's on top. It's leaving space. This is the biggest details. Clamp this and come here and then pinch. All right. So again, here. And again, even here, if I don't do anything and I grab both wrists, he's going to yank them away. So once you get it, you know, you don't want them bent. Get it here on your chest. Open your guard. Throw it over. And I'm not doing a double arm, but I'm going to put all my energy into this one now. I'm not gonna go over the head. I'm gonna pinch my knees, I'm here. Okay, this is quick. I mean, you do this really quick, okay? So again, guys, you know, I'm, I'm a lot more dominant on this side, which is why I'm showing you. So you, you have to have that in mind when you do this. If you're a lot better on one side than the other, attack that side. I'm here, open up, throw it. I'm pinching, all right? You know, without the arm bar, could you get out of this? No. That's what we want. And then here, Okay, when I do this for real, I explode, okay? I would normally be pulling down. This is how quick this one is, but it's powerful and it's nasty. And for those of us who can't really uh, do these super methodical ones, yes, these are have more control and these are a lot tighter. These are hard against good opponents. And you guys have to remember when you're on bottom attacking anyone with a sweeper submission, he has gravity, which is free energy, and free energy will always win. He may not always win, but gravity will. And that's always working against me. So I can't be too slow and methodical because he's gonna realize what's going on and he's gonna defend it, all right? So one more time, guys. Just grab both wrists, open your guard, shoot it up, pinch the knees, foot on bottom, hip up. Super quick arm bar, super effective. Uh, definitely one worth having because it's so simple. And you know, if he yanks his arm out, there's triangles there, omoplata, his defenses to it are gonna open up other things because it's a quick move, but you have good control from it. So add it to your game.